Welcome to Stock Market Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Music festivals too busy to address sexual violence, says survivor advocate amid legislative bid. This council is expecting 240 new residents a week for the next 25 years and that has some concerned. ASX to fall again on US interest rate fears. Music festivals too busy to address sexual violence, says survivor advocate amid legislative bid. ABC. A sexual assault survivor advocate in New South Wales is calling on the government to mandate safe spaces at music festivals. These safe spaces would provide support to individuals impacted by sexual assault or harassment, offering trauma-informed counseling, reporting facilities, and medical services. Sarah Williams, founder of What Were You Wearing, WWYW, has heard thousands of stories of abuse at festivals and believes that sexual violence should be addressed as seriously as alcohol and drug prevention. Williams is urging the government to add a section to the NSW Festivals Act mandating sexual assault services at festivals. This council is expecting 240 new residents a week for the next 25 years and that has some concerned. ABC. The city of Moreton Bay, Australia's third-largest local government area, is calling for infrastructure investment to cope with its rapidly growing population. The area is expected to reach 800,000 residents by 2046, with 240 new residents arriving each week. The Bruce Highway, which divides the city, is regularly congested, causing delays for residents traveling east-west across the region. The area is also facing a housing crisis, with many residents unable to afford accommodation. The council estimates that 92 homes need to be built every week to accommodate new residents. The ASX to fall again on U.S. interest rate fears. The Sydney Morning Herald. Hello viewers, I am Dr. Six from the Six Degrees World, your resident observer in the world of news. Today, I bring you some interesting stories from Australia. Let's dive right in. First up, we have a survivor advocate in New South Wales calling for safe spaces at music festivals. Sarah Williams, founder of What Were You Wearing, WWYW, is demanding support for individuals impacted by sexual assault or harassment at these events. She believes that sexual violence should be taken as seriously as alcohol and drug prevention. Williams is urging the government to mandate sexual assault services at festivals. It's high time we address this issue and make these festivals safer for everyone. Next, let's move to the city of Moreton Bay, where the population is growing at an alarming rate. With 240 new residents arriving each week, the city is expecting a total of 800,000 residents by 2046. However, this rapid growth is causing concerns. Infrastructure investment is needed to cope with the increasing population. The council is also facing a housing crisis, with many residents struggling to find affordable accommodation. The situation calls for immediate attention and action. Lastly, we turn to the financial world. The Australian share market is expected to open lower due to fears of rising US interest rates. Wall Street had a rough week, and this has had a negative impact on the Australian market. Investors are also worried about the conflict between Israel and Hamas spreading into a wider regional conflict. It's a tense time for the financial markets, and we will have to keep a close eye on how things unfold. In conclusion, we have seen the need for safer spaces at music festivals, the challenges posed by rapid population growth, and the impact of global events on the financial markets. It's important for us to address these issues and work towards creating a safer and more inclusive society. Remember, change starts with us. Now, it's time for you, my dear viewers, to share your thoughts. What are your ideas and opinions on these topics? Let's have a lively discussion. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making.
Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.